So big news, YouTube released a new update for podcast creators to further promote their podcast shows on YouTube. You can now create dedicated podcast playlists, which allows the algorithm to push your podcast show on the platform in different ways. Plus potentially featuring it on the brand new YouTube podcast page and on the YouTube music app to attract new or existing listeners. Today, I'm gonna give you a quick walkthrough on how you can easily set up your podcast on your YouTube channel, alongside some helpful tips and tricks to help you on your way. All right, so let's get straight in. So right now we're in the YouTube studio and recently my friends and I started a podcast and we uploaded our episodes on our YouTube channel. So now we wanna make a podcast playlist from all these podcast videos. So to create a podcast playlist, all you need to do is head over to create. Then we're gonna head over to new podcast. And now you have the chance to create a new podcast on your channel or set an existing playlist as a podcast. The second option could be helpful if you already have all your podcast episodes in one playlist, but in this case we don't, so we're gonna select create a new podcast. Then this menu opens up and you can add a title to your podcast playlist, a description, you can decide what the visibility is gonna be, and you can upload your podcast thumbnail. Now first, when adding a title to your podcast playlist, it's important to keep a few things in mind. For example, Google advises users just to use the descriptive title such as your podcast name only and avoid extra words such as new episodes or new uploads or full episodes and even adding the word podcast behind your podcast name unless it's a part of your show's title. For instance, if the playlist name or the title is too vague, YouTube will replace the title with your channel's name and promote it like that on YouTube Music. So something to keep in mind, in this case, I'm gonna just use my podcast name, of course. Next, the description. It's kind of the same as adding a description to your YouTube video or a regular playlist. So you can simply add a description to what your podcast is about and maybe add some links to it as well. Next, visibility, same story. It's similar to regular playlists or videos. So in this case, I'm gonna select public and lastly you're required to upload your podcast thumbnail now keep in mind when creating or uploading your thumbnail it needs to be a square thumbnail this is kind of unusual for youtube because normally thumbnails are 16 by 9 however when they're gonna highlight feature or promote your podcast they're gonna use the square thumbnail and there you have it so if you filled everything out all you need to do is click on the create button and then the podcast playlist is created all right so next thing we want to do is add our podcast videos to our podcast playlist so to make this happen if you're already in the playlist all you need to do is click on add videos or really quick if you want to find your podcast playlist from your dashboard all you need to do is head over to content and then head over to playlists or podcasts in this case i'm going to podcasts and in here you will see the podcast playlist we just created you can also recognize it by the podcast batch and as you can see there are zero videos in there so as i said to add videos head over to the videos option and now you have two options. You can choose to upload your videos from your desktop and upload them to your YouTube channel and instantly into the playlist, or you choose existing podcast videos that are already on your channel. In this case, we're gonna do the second option. So I'm gonna click on add your existing videos. Now we're redirected back to the content page. I'm gonna select the videos I want to add to my podcast playlist. And then once you've done that, you head over to add to playlist in the menu. And in there, you will see the podcast playlist. I'm gonna select it and click on save. So now we're gonna head back to podcast and you will see the podcast playlist and you will see that there are 12 videos in there. Now you can fully edit the podcast playlist the way you like. For instance, we're gonna head over to the three dots and click on edit on YouTube. In here, you can easily change the title, you can change the description. And from here, you can easily readjust your episodes. For instance, you can just click and drag one of the episodes and drag them below or above another one. Plus a very easy tool as well. You can head over to sort on the top in which you can decide how it's gonna be portrayed or how it's gonna be listed. For instance, you can decide if the newest podcasts are gonna be first or the oldest or the most popular. It depends on how you set up your podcast. And of course, you can easily share your entire podcast playlist or embed it on a website. And of course, you can add new videos as well within your podcast playlist and play around with the settings if you like. Now, keep in mind, Google and YouTube advises users to only add full episodes to a podcast playlist. This means that if you have a playlist consisting of seasons or even podcast clips, to not set them as podcast playlists. Now, let's say you want to revert a podcast playlist back to a regular playlist all you need to do is head over to playlists or podcasts. Then you hover over the podcast playlist and find the three dots. We're gonna click on this. And then all you need to do is click on set as playlist 
and then it will be a regular playlist again. Now something very cool in YouTube for every single podcast playlist you make, you can easily analyze the podcast performance by seeing the performance data. This is helpful if you want to separately see how your podcast performs outside of your other videos that you uploaded on your channel. And that's it. So this YouTube update will give you a lot of potential to reach new audiences. However, and this is going to be my final tip, but if you want to go the extra mile, you can also easily create clips out of your podcasts. For instance, on online video editors such as Veed, you can easily repurpose your podcast and add subtitles, text, images, logos, music, progression bars, text to speech, you name it. This way you can further push your podcast on social media platforms so you can easily get organic traffic with your snippets. We recently made a video about this so if you want to check it out click on this video. For now thank you so much for watching I hope this video was helpful. Good luck and have a nice day.